Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a commission build. Uh, this order was placed on January 1st. We had to wait a little bit for the board to be shipped out. I uh, built this not too long ago, and I wanted to make this pretty fun video. I did tease this a little while ago in the comment section of my last video. Um, I'm really excited, guys, to build this thing. This is going to be the first non-budget build I make for the channel. And as you'll see here, as we unpack this thing, you'll find out what it is. It's going to be this beautiful, beautiful keyboard. It is the Tofu Junior. So let's hop into it. So we'll hop right into unboxing this thing. Um, just the packaging itself is so nice. Like the magnetic little clip-ins. Not, not clip-ins, but the way it retains it. You'll see everything's just packaged so nicely. So here we've got the stabilizers, has the washers in there, everything you need for the stabs, as well as the shims. Little tool kit with some gaskets in there, as well as some additional gaskets. Not sure why these were in here. I didn't need to use them in the end, but maybe if you lose some or might be a different stiffness, I'm not really sure 100%. Packaging here is so nice, very stiff, very firm. Just to make sure that it's safe when it gets to you. So opening this up, we've got couple things in here we've got several different types of foam in this package a case foam in between the plate and PCB and then a little switch pad switch foam uh, it came out super nice I really enjoy that they packaged everything this way and this ends up being a palm plate uh, the, the the person that commissioned this wanted something like a deeper sound and I really wanted to try to achieve that with palm um, and the PCB this PCB so nice i love the daughter board and just one simple connection and one simple flex cut uh you know flex cuts yes they do give the flex but you know they can also reduce the sound so i really like the way this one is set up now for the case itself so this is an aluminum case uh, we just went straight up black he didn't want anything super deeper flashy and it's anodized aluminum the finish is quite nice. Uh, I'm going to have to give it a clean by the time this is done because there's fingerprints all over it. But by the time I'm shipping this out to the guy, uh, this will all be looking really nice and shiny. And I say shiny because of this weight. This is a PVD steel weight. And once I flip this over, you won't get the best look yet because I didn't want to take this plastic off yet. But it is so shiny, guys. This thing is like a mirror finish, black PVD steel. It's just beautiful. So before I get into building this thing, I do want to check everything. I went ahead and used some tweezers to make contact between the points because I don't want to build this and have it not work and then not know if it was sent to me damaged or if something I did damaged it. You know, with the commission build, I really want to make sure that everything is done properly and I don't want any of that fault on me. So after that, we're going to move into stabilizers. I did have to clip the feet, as you see me doing here. Not too bad, you know, it's a small annoyance, but whatever. I guess some people don't clip them, couldn't tell you why. But anyway, it's just an additional step I had to do here. Next up, I'm going to move on to lubing the stems and the housings. Apologies for my camera, guys. I'm using my phone, just what I have, and the focus on this is quite terrible. Um, but I just apply some lube to either side, and then I put a little bit, whatever's remaining on the brush, on both the front and the back openings. I don't know if it really does anything, but figured might as well not to let, let the lube go to waste. Um, so once that's done, you know, I'm going to take these wires. Um, and I use dielectric grease for this, uh, put them in once, then take it out, put it back in the tube, go a little past the bend, and uh, snap these things back together. Once that's all done, I use the washers to place them around the holes where these things are going to pop in. Uh, this took a little while, it's my first time doing it, trying to be precise, using the tweezers here. It honestly wasn't too bad. Um, you know, I usually stick to the budget side of things, and while this might not be the most expensive high-end board, it definitely has a little more that you have to do to get this thing rolling. But I think the end result is amazing, especially when it comes to these stabilizers. So here I'm just going to take them, push them back in. Uh, couldn't really get a good view of the shims, it was like really finicky and I had to get really close to the board. But as you could see for, for a second, they are on there. I am going to go ahead and screw all this in, and we can move on to the next part. 
So at this point, we're going to start getting this plate ready for switches. So I did want to use this foam here, uh, the switch foam. Um, I didn't really get to do too much testing. I didn't go back and forth changing different foam configurations. I kind of wanted to get this built and sent out to the guy. And I figured these two pieces of foam would do pretty well. Um, I did, in the end, try using the case foam uh, before screwing everything back together. I wasn't crazy about the sound, so I ended up taking it out. Uh, you won't see that in the video, but I'm just letting you know here, I did only end up using these two pieces of foam. So slapping this uh, plate back on, you know, I, I was following the, the build guide, so give me a second, I'm trying to make sure I'm doing everything right. Uh, and, you know, so far, everything's been pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm enjoying the process a lot. And I'll start putting in the switches. So I go from corners uh, because I want to make sure that it's kind of nice and settled in there. I tried to get the space bar in. Uh, just anchor points, I guess you could call them. Uh, especially with something like palm that's not aluminum or, or even polycarbonate plates since they flex down a little bit I like to have those anchor points but as you'll see here as we start throwing these switches in these are the drop and Envir collab holy panda switches um, tactile is not my favorite thing I'm sure I've said that in some videos before these things are amazing I mean uh, in the most recent video I had ordered some Holy Panda clones, whatever you want to call it, uh, off of AliExpress, and I thought those were nice. Like, for the money, they're, they're not bad. They do not come close to what these do. These are a completely different level. I mean, you're talking about around $20 for 90 of the other Holy Pandas, whereas these are, I think, around 80 And whether it's worth it to you, that's something you would have to decide. I think it might be guys and I'm a budget guy I think it might be these things are fantastic so once again now that everything's in double checking that everything works came out great so we'll move on to the next part so the next thing I have to do is get ready to put this thing back together inside the case um, this part pretty simple it comes with the included tool you need and there's just these four points around the edge that have the screws pre-installed to take the top case off of the bottom case. So I went ahead, I went around, took all these out. Uh, they did require a little bit of pressure to kind of snap them loose. They were pretty tight in there. Uh, I was a little hesitant at first, but after the first one, pretty simple, pretty easy. And they come out nice. And I just put them over in the side so I know what's what. Now with that top case off, we can look into installing the weight, uh, take off a little bit of the plastic because these screws do need to go through. And once that's set in there, there's four screws that will go in from the inside bottom of the case. These also really simple and I really like that the screws are noticeably different. So it, I, I can't accidentally put a wrong screw in the wrong place and then mess up something later. And I really appreciate that. Uh, same thing with the daughter board, really tiny screws, get this situated in there and make sure it's nice and snug. And then we can look into putting in all of the other stuff uh, for the internals of the keyboard. So like I said, you saw me put in the case from there. I did end up taking that out later. I don't know if I recorded it, uh, but that's besides the point here. Little gasket socks going on, really simple, really easy. I'm pretty sure there's only or it doesn't matter which way you put these on it's universal because they both seem to be the exact same and i did switch them around and try it uh, so i like that uh, go ahead and connect the cables take that case foam out and um, slap this on and we're almost in the home stretch uh, at this point i'm gonna throw the screws back in make sure this thing is nice and secure and I will have to peel a little bit more of this plastic and you guys will see here in a little bit. Uh, I did cut some footage because I didn't want my face being shown. I don't know why, it's just something about it. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to put my face on YouTube yet. Um, but, you know, you get a little sneak peek here. This thing is beautiful. Um, it, it's really unfortunate you don't ever see this side of it, but with these legs being placed on, we're ready to move on to the next part. And that ends up being the keycaps. So he wanted a dark theme build and he said he really liked purple. Uh, we looked at keycaps for a little bit and this is what the guy ended up choosing. 
I was hesitant at first. Um, I, I thought it would be too dark everything together because these seem like a really dark purple. And while they are, it's still noticeably different enough that I think this keyboard just ended up looking so nice in the end. So this is the Drop DCX. I believe this is called the Cyber um, keycaps. And this set is awesome. Um, I did put yellow arrows on at first just for a type a little bit of an accent to break up the whole purple But I ended up switching them back because I thought the purple looked really nice uh, The lettering themselves the legends on these being different colors is kind of enough to not make it look monotonous and, and have a little bit of a pop within the the colors themselves so, I mean, you guys can let me know what you think. Would you have kept the yellow? Do you think it's better all purple? Uh, at the end of the day, the guy is going to be able to change all this stuff however he sees fit. I just left it all purple, kind of make it uniform and go with what he said his favorite color was. So, we're going to get this all situated. I'm going to pop these back on. I'm going to leave a picture up of the board. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about the build. And then we're going to go into a sound test. So I appreciate all of you who watch. I appreciate all of you who like and sub. And if you haven't yet, please do. It means so much to me. I hope you guys enjoy the sound test. And I hope you guys have a great day.